Anthony Brown here again. Today we're going to speak about the basic bunker shot and how to build off that basic bunker shot to help the rest of your game. One of the most important things I think for bunker play is confidence. And when I see amateur golfers especially practicing their bunker shots, they're actually doing themselves quite a disservice in the way they go about their practice. So I'll tell you a couple of the things that I do to get started and get things rolling in the right direction. Most importantly, when I first warm up before a round of golf, especially tournament play, I start off with a good lie on a slight upslope, which makes for an easy bunker shot. This just helps me see the ball take off up in the air and gets the brain seeing what it wants to see, the ball coming out of the bunker, landing nicely on the green and ending up towards the hole. Okay, so with a basic bunker shot, I'm gonna give you the simple setup that I use. So from the down the line camera, club face ever so slightly open, which helps the ball slide through the sand. Our feet position, as with chipping, ever so slightly open to the target. So a straight line is probably about there. We want our feet just turned towards the left for a right hander ever so slightly. Ball position, is quite a long way forward in the stance. You can alter that and experiment with how the ball will come out differently based on the ball position. I like to see the ball just and feel as though it's just inside my left heel, which helps me move forward into the shot. Quite often what I see from amateur golfers is almost a bit of a panic when they jump in the bunker. This leads them to hit the ball extremely hard, swinging far too aggressively and having no control over the outcome. One of the main things I like to focus on with a bunker shot is a smooth, slow swing, but the important thing is to continue moving through the shot right the way into a full follow through. If the club keeps moving all the way through, the action of the club entering the sand and splashing the ball out will get it up nice and soft and, and landing on the green. One of the common mistakes I see from golfers of all levels is a club face that's too far open. With a good bunker shot, we need a combination of the, the club head sliding and digging through the sand at the same time. When the face is too open, the club skids across the top of the sand too much, which will result in a thin shot. For me, I start with a fairly square club face and just ever so slightly open it. So one of the drills that I work with to develop my feel and get the confidence up in the bunker shots it's quite a simple one that you can do anywhere at your practice facility at home. Basically, I draw some lines in the sand up the, up the face of the bunker. One only a couple of metres in front of me. Another one just below the face of the bunker, the, the lip of the bunker. And from there, I actually practice trying to land the ball on those lines. Once I, I'm getting the ball landing within half a foot or so of, of the first line, I'll then move on to the second line. The next shot I hit, I try and land just outside the bunker, right on the very top of the lip. This one. So that's line number one taken care of. We want our third shot again, landing just outside of the bunker on the top of the lip. There's a couple of things that I do change. The higher shot is a riskier shot. There is more that can go wrong. So it's not your high percentage shot, but it's good to know how to do it just in case you do need it. Basically, from our original stance we started with, open the feet just ever so slightly more. We want the hands down a little lower the club face will open just a fraction more and we want to make a swing that feels like it goes around our body a little more.
The important thing is to continue swinging through. When people stop or swing too hard, that's when things can go wrong. You want to keep yourself nice and balanced and stay down low in the bunker. Dig your feet down into the sand as far as you can. As I said, a little more open club face, hands down low, and you want to try and keep that posture that you have at your setup, and then continue swinging everything through as we've done with all the other shots. And that creates a higher, softer shot, which will also go a little shorter, so it's great for those little tight bunker shots with a close pin. Okay, so in closing, I'm gonna take you through the basic bunker shot one more time. For right-handers, we start with a slightly open stance, which is meaning we're pointing ever so slightly to the left. For left-hander, you'll be pointing out to the right. Our ball position, anywhere from the center of the stance all the way through to about opposite our, the heel of our front foot. Start off with a square club face, ever so slightly open which will help the club to both dig and slide through the sand at the same time. The swing we make is not a hard, aggressive swing. It's a smooth swing, and we make sure we complete our follow-through all the way into a full finish. That works for me. Hopefully it works for you.